Republican Congresswoman of Arizona joins me now. Debbie Lesko, Congresswoman, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. You know, a quick note, I, I actually offered your name up to replace Liz Cheney. I'm sorry that never happened, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, a few people asked me to run, and, you know, I think... When President Trump and McCarthy and Scalise all endorsed uh, Elise Stefanik, um, you know, I, I think that's the direction it was going to go. But thank you for your confidence in me. I appreciate it. Well, absolutely. And it's why I wanted to bring you on to talk about this very important subject. Joe Biden's words there are very important. I think it gives us some insight into the way they and the Democrats think. What's the challenge for you now to battle back against that way of thinking? Well, the, uh, the reason, the sole reason that I ran for Congress was to protect our nation and the values that have made it great. And that includes our constitutional rights. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, specifically serving on the Judiciary Committee, that the Democrats are trying to take away our constitutional rights. And they do it over and over again, whether that be our Second Amendment rights to take away the right to defend ourselves, uh, our religious freedoms and beliefs, they're trying to, st you know, take those away all of the time. And this whole thing that they're trying to paint America as a systemically, inherently racist country is really wrong and actually divides us even more. So that press conference, the bill signing that you showed that Biden was talking about this, it was about a hate crime bill. But then he went on to talk about how, you know, people are racist and all this racism things happen. That's just not true. Now, is there racism in our country? Are there racists? Of course there are. But police systemically are not racist. We should not be defunding the police. Well, we should not be is, uh, doing is, critical race theory in our schools. This is hurting our no. nation. And it is meant to divide us. And I do believe they've weaponized the virus to take away our rights. Even the fact of trying to move freely about the country now. You're talking about vaccine passports getting tested. Some governors want you tested before they come into your states, God forbid. Um, this is Kamala Harris talking about the virus, which really gives us another window into how they think. Listen. You know, as we emerge from the pandemic, I believe that we are at the start of a new era. I believe that we have a unique opportunity now to shape our nation's future, to transform how we live, how we work, and how we vote. She just admitted that the virus enables them to try to transform America. Congressman Lesko, I will give you the last word. Well, you know, we live in the greatest country in the world, and that's why I'm here in Congress, and that's why Republicans are here fighting in Congress to protect the values that have made our nation great. Pelosi does this on the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives. Right outside the floor, she now says we don't have to wear masks. But on the floor, she says we do have to wear masks. And I guess it's because that's in front of the cameras, and it shows she's in control. Um, you know, the tyranny that is going on with the Democrats is, is threatening our nation and our future. And thank God for all of your viewers and for your TV station for standing up for the truth and speaking out for the values that have made our nation great. And we need to continue to fight. And I really yeah. believe in 2022 that Republicans will take back the majority in the House, if not the Senate, too. Well, we don't do it uh, without strong voices like yours up in Washington, ours here uh, from our, our broadcasting, and we broadcast from here in, in Dallas. And um, Debbie Lesko, I appreciate you fighting for freedom and you're putting up the good fight for, uh, for Trump-loving patriots out there. Thank you so much. Thank you.